Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. And the favorite St. Patrick's Day event is back again this year for 2021. And yes, it is one of the hardest ones to do. But luckily, like they did at Christmas, it seems like they have given us a few more days to do this. There's still eight days that it's got. I was hope I didn't realize that it was going on until today. Apparently, it's already been going on for two days. But some of these missions are pretty darn tough. I mean, this one's not so bad. You've got to go through and find all the parts of the Golden Horseshoe, which you need the boat to do. The only problem with that is you can only do it once an hour. Then you have to do the expulsion of snakeheads. And you do that with the golden horseshoe stringer. But you have to catch 150 of those guys. <laughs> I mean, it definitely requires a lot of time. But these are where you can really make some headway here, guys. The leprechaun's favor. There's four different missions here. And on those, it's mainly going to different lakes and catching a certain number of leprechaun fish and rowdy bass which it looks like I've already got credit for one on this particular one here which not, is not bad in the heron and then at the very end they if you've gotten everything so far you can collect different items for certain numbers of clover coins so I'm not sure if you have to get I guess you have to get all of these to get the lucky horseshoe trophy but that is the main goal for these all these missions and you have to be kind of lucky to get that far there's a lot to do <laughs> in a very short amount of time but I think what we're gonna do before we do anything is we're gonna go after the rowdy bass and the leprechauns just because that's gonna be something you're gonna be doing throughout this and it's a good way to make a lot of clover coins so I'm going to go ahead and track this mission, which I think I already have it tracked. Yes, Leprechaun's Favor 1. That's catching rowdy bass on mud water and leprechaun fish on mud water. So let's go ahead and head in there. And here we are. We're, I don't think time is a, makes a difference. I think if it's morning, afternoon with these fish, it doesn't really matter. But we're going to come on in and check out some of the cool features that they have, if they still have them. Usually they have little pots of gold and stuff that you can collect certain types of baits and gear. There we go. Yes, most of the time if I'm just playing to be playing, I will go on with everybody. Now if you notice, the water looks really green. It's supposed to be green for the holiday, kind of like green beer, I guess. Okay, exchange seven clover coins for a bully grasshopper. Mm, that's not real good, to be honest. Checking around here to see if there's any pots of gold. Yeah, you, you need to look around because Usually they hide them in the, the weeds. Because I've seen it here a lot. Okay, let's jump over to the other side. And if there aren't any here, I'm not sure what we're going to do about getting that darn bait. We may have to buy it. I just don't want to use them those clover coins up because we kind of need those for other purposes. Well, there's not seeming to be any pots of gold to be found here. That's strange. Maybe they've changed it this year. Yeah, that's a dead end. Ah, here it is. <laughs> Last place. And that actually is what I needed. I had plenty of the bully grasshoppers, but no, none of the drunken worms, which I believe the leprechaun fish go for the most. So that's good. Now we're in good shape. 
Now I'm trying to remember. I don't think it really matters where you fish for them. But I think I caught them most frequently over here. And that's where we're going to try it here. We're going to go ahead and put out our rod pod. We're going to do some bottom fishing too. I've got a variety of these different types mixed in here. The drunken worm for the leprechaun fish. And the bully grasshoppers. I don't think you have to really take it too far out from shore either, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm going to throw one over here in the amongst the logs. And then we're going to float fish for one. Let's take this down. These guys are actually quite heavy. They're not big, but they weigh a lot. And we're already getting a bite. And there we go. Large. Ah, oh, shoot. I'm out of bully grasshoppers? Really? I thought I had... I thought I had plenty of them. Let me see here. No, I had plenty of the drunken worms. on it. Well, I guess we're going to have to do go after those for now until we can get some of the others. Okay, looks like we've got something on the first. Yeah, and I think we've got one of the things we're after here. Here we go. There you go. Leprechaun fish. <laughs> he looks a lot like a Oscar with a little clover leaf on the bottom of him. Can't see him quite as clear this time. But each one of those is worth one gold, guys. That is one of the coolest things about this, is we can get one of the bait coins for every one of them. We're getting a bite over here, too. There we go. Another leprechaun fish. Alright, let's go ahead and keep that guy. Alright, looks like we've got one on number two here. I think we got us a rowdy bass here, guys. Here we go. That is a rowdy bass. He's got that golden look to him. He looks like he's been in a scrap. <laughs> and he's got a big orangish yellow top hat. <laughs> kind of a strange looking fish. Another gold, though. I'm out of that bait. Damn. It's going to be a little hard to get more of those guys, unfortunately. We're just going to have to get the leprechaun fish for now. I may have to go over there and purchase some of those bully grasshoppers. I'm not seeing, unless there's some in the shop. Let's check. Might be. Let's see, they got the drunken worms. No, they're a lot more expensive. Yep. I'm getting a bite off one of these. 
Let's put the drunken worm on there. We can at least finish with the leprechauns. We gotta get more of those anyway. Toss this over here. Yeah, I remember catching them pretty heavily right here, so. I'll tell you what, guys, let's do this. Let's take it to the peak. We'll see if we get any more bites, and I want to try another spot too. Used to get a lot of them over by that bass spot over to the left. Let me go ahead and get all this gear here. And we'll walk on over there. And I am going to get some more of the bully grasshoppers. There we go. We're going to take it to the peak period, which is around 3 p.m. We'll see if there's any difference in how many of them we get. I don't think we need to throw these out too far either. I am going to change this one. Because we do need to get the rowdy bass as well. this one over here and I think the leprechaun fish are usually pretty close yeah see what I mean Oh, well, just a regular long, largemouth bass. There we go. Shouldn't take too long now, guys. See? There we go. Another rowdy. Yeah, the peak does seem to make a little bit of a difference. Now we've gotten all the rowdy bass we need. Let's change our bait over to the drunken worm. Throw that back out there and we'll get some of these leprechaun fish and finish this off. I think we got him. Yep, we got him. This will be our third. Whoa. Oh, I had a... <laughs> I had a bully grasshopper on there. That's alright. That's just more gold. 
Let me change that for this, though. Yeah, we're getting a good, good amount of bites here, though. Whoa. Okay, we need to take that down a bit. There we go. That, this time we get a better look. For some reason over there I was picking them up more or less sideways, but here you can really get a good look at these guys. Let's get a little bit light there going on. Yeah, you see the clover there, and he's got green eyes. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go ahead and keep him, so that means we get one more, and that'll be it for this particular mission. Then we move on to Naharan. They seem to bite pretty regularly, which is, especially if you get geared up with bottom rods as well, that will increase your chance even more. But you gotta be, you have to have some either pretty good gear or be aware that these guys are going to be a fight because they are heavy. They look little, but they weigh a lot. Supposedly it's because they have gold on them. All right, I think we've got our final one. Yep, right there. See, 17 pounds. That little fish is 17 pounds. <laughs> Leprechaun's favor one. Now we got our Sever Clover coins back. And the new mission go ahead and grab this one because it's always more gold maybe depends on whether it's no nah, I don't think it's one of them I think we got a, a regular young largemouth bass black tail shiner and we got something biting on this one too Well, maybe. No, I think he's done. That's alright. We've completed that mission. You can always come back and do this mission as many times as you want. Because you can catch these guys and just keep getting these bait coins. Farm them as much as you can. In fact, I would suggest it if you've got plenty of time on your hands and you're not going forward with the missions. But let's go ahead back to our missions. Let me see. So we've completed that one. Then there's the Leprechaun's Favor 2. We've already got some of that completed. And that takes place... Let's see. I think it's Naharan River. Yep, Naharan River. And... As far as the gold horseshoes go that is a boat mission guys and I think we can go to Emerald Lake I'll show you what that's about I think I did this last year as well but let's go ahead and leave and we'll I'll show you what this particular mission looks like because I've already got some of the pieces to the stringer Let me see what I've got as far as... Okay, that boat is the one I want to use. Get a private room. Need to go over here. I don't know if you can get the leprechaun fish here or not. I don't think so. I think you can only catch them in the water that's green. 
Yeah, see the water here is not green. So... This is strictly for the boat missions. Let me go ahead and advance time a little bit so we can see better. There we go, much better. Okay, following the rainbow, try to pass your boat under all the horseshoes, but make sure you keep your eyes on the timer. You get only one attempt per hour. That's where the problem tends to fall. We have to go through the horseshoes. Not sure where the next one is. Oh, it's behind us. short amount of time. Ah, shoot. That's what I was afraid was going to happen. It's not much time. Don't put them in any kind of order, that's the problem. Okay, we gotta go all the way back around to this. Okay, at least that one was in front of us. seconds. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, guys. Where is it? Oh, back here. Oh, no! We made it. Whoa! <laughs> okay, we got that one. That was not easy. And there's a pot of gold over here, guys, that we want to check out as well. And we're going to go ashore, check this out, see what we got. Mulver Clover Coins, that we could use. I don't know if there's any others or not. I don't see any more rainbows, so I don't think so. Nope, nothing else. There should be one of these at each of the ones that have the boats. Well, let's go ahead and jump out of here. Because we have accomplished what we set out to accomplish. Next place that we need to go to is Expulsion of Snakeheads. We've got 16 of the Golden Horseshoe available to us now. All we need to do is get at least 14 more, so that means I've got to complete more of those Horseshoe race missions. Those aren't easy guys, those are real tough. Uh, as you saw, I barely made it on that one, and some of the others get even tougher than that. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to go on to Meharan and see if we can't catch more of the rowdy bass and more bass and more of the leprechaun fish. 
So let's go ahead and jump in there, and I think we're going to call this an episode once we get there. Looks like the peak's already here. And I'm telling you right now, probably your best bet is going to be to fish over here in the Woody Enchantment location. Yeah, probably right here. And as you can tell, the water is green. That's where you can find those specific types of fish. The leprechaun and rowdies are found in green water. Green water only. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and set up. See how many of these I can go ahead and get. And then we'll end this. Because we are probably way over time now. Let me get... Let me put a couple of these on there. Now that we're... Kind of mix it up a little. While I've got that here, I'm going to check around for, okay, here's another one of those things where you can purchase clown frogs. Not sure what you can use those for, but I think I do have some. Wait a minute, I'm getting a bite already here, guys. There are pots of gold here as well, and in them you may get more baits, so it's definitely worth your look. So far, nothing's happening, so I'm going to take a look around here, guys. They could be just about anywhere. Make sure you check all the nooks and the crannies. There's no rainbow there to lead you to it, though. That's the only thing. You just have to find it. Ah, here it is. 100 credits. Okay, I can deal with that. Alright, that is all we're going to do at this point, guys. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. I think we're going to see about catching some more of those guys here. Maybe do another one of those horseshoe races. And see how many of those we can complete. I'd love to be able to go after these snakeheads, too. May just go there to catch them just to catch them. But anyway guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.